Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about the beta 4 for the Google Pixel 4a. Stay locked in with me. Yo, what's going on guys? So the Google Pixel 4a recently just got a new update for the Android 13 beta 4. So I'm going to cover some of the new features as well as some of the overall improvements, performance, enhancements, and also some of the bug fixes in this video. So make sure you stay to the end of the video. I also have a video right here where I talked about the previous fixes and things of that such, but make sure you stay locked in with me. I truly appreciate you for coming through. If you're new, uh, I encourage you to subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. And um, make sure you hit the like button as well as the bell icon. Um, it definitely helps put this video out so we could beat the YouTube algorithm. But if you're already, uh, if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through, right? But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So the first thing I want to talk about is some of the fixes that we're going to be getting on this Android release for the beta 4. So let's just go down into system inside of settings. And I'm gonna go inside of the phone and show you right here where it says system update. So you basically go to settings, you go to system, and then you go to update. And then you can see right here, it does say uh, system update. This is an install for the beta version, Android 13 4 right there. And on this device, um, this pre-release version may contain errors and defects and things of that such, but you can see it's 69.53 megabytes. Uh, basically, this is going to fix um, Bluetooth connectivity issues. So you can see I have my, my studio buds connected. It says 90% right there. We also do have, you know, some camera crash fixes on here that's going to iron out some of the issues that the previous version had some issues dealing with. So it's going to address those as well. It's going to iron out and smooth out the performance. It's also going to fix the now playing from crashing when you try to download. Instead of being stuck at now downloading, it'll actually continue the download. And then it's also going to improve animation. So I'm going to hit download and install right now. And then we're going to jump back into the video once it's completely up to date. So make sure you guys stay locked into the end of the video. But if you're still here, just type down below in the comment section. I'm still here. So I know you're still kicking it with me, still rocking with me. And um, I'm gonna answer all your comments down below. If I don't answer your comment, just say, hey, you didn't answer my comment. And I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can, right? But let's just jump into this update. You can see right here, it's telling me to resume. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the system update. But um, make sure you guys stay locked in with me and I'll get right back with you. All right, guys, so we have updated the Android 13 beta 4. So the first thing I noticed was the haptics when I unlock the device. When I scroll across, I noticed that the haptics vibrate really nicely. Um, unlocking the phone, you're going to see one of the other things is that you can get different songs to choose from in Spotify, right? So you can choose between different artists now here on Spotify. That's something that's really cool. I like that part about it. Um, overall, the animations feel really fast on here as well. When you drag down the notification panel, you're also going to notice that you do see 13 right here, which is the build number for the Android system, which is pretty cool. Let's click this thing right here. And you get a bunch of new stuff like sound amplifier, calculator. Let's turn that calculator. You could drag these up. So I'm gonna drag some of these up. And what it allows you to do is drag calculator up here, sound amplifier. If you if you had if you're hard of hearing, recorder is now on the panel right here. You drag that. I think you're limited to the amount of things you can drag up though. So I just want to mention that. But then you can see right here, that's pretty much a lot of cool things here for that. So really some new panels that we do get in the notification display, the build number is there, the uh, Spotify thing. And um, it does still tell you the active apps here down below. You can get to your, turn off your device down below. 
which is really cool. Um, so as far as the overall widgets, the other thing is that you can make the widget smaller. So let's do a battery widget right here. I'm gonna place it on a new screen. And these actually become smaller. So let me see. Let's sh try to shrink this one. That's as small as that one can go. But you see how small these widgets are? I like the fact that you can make these um, really small and compact. Uh, so this, this is the smallest it can go right here. Um, so that's pretty cool stuff. You can see how small the clock widget is as well. We also do, um, so when you connect your Bluetooth, it does still tell you the battery percentage. It will also, t um, if you go into battery, let me just see something real quick. Uh, bat system and then battery. Let's go into system, battery. Let's go into usage. So this battery usage. And you scroll down, you can click here for more options. You can see your Wi-Fi, your idle time, your screen on time, uh, Bluetooth, as well as uh, so certain stuff right here. So that's details about your battery performance. You also can, um, you know what I'm saying, if you're using the clock, the calculator widget, and then let's lock the screen. The, the uh, clock widget still opens up even when the screen is locked. So you could use this as a literal calculator um, when you have that, that calculator app open. So let's say you open that and then lock the screen. You could just double tap it and get back to your calculator. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. So a couple of newer features with this thing. Uh, so there's a lot of cool new features with the Beta 4 for the Android program here for the Pixel 4a. Obviously the Spotify widget is going to be cool. Also, I did notice that when you um, receive a phone call, you actually can hear the phone call. Sometimes I wouldn't even hear it ringing or whatever, um, which is, you get some really cool features. but. Um, when you're listen when you're not listening to music, it's going to recommend you some certain different artists on the Spotify one like I showed you before. Um, you know, really cool stuff there. Uh, you know, but the haptics feel a lot smoother. The performance feels a lot smoother. It's pretty much going to get the same battery life that you were getting before. Vibrations, like I said, feel really good on here. Um, you can let me just go down to the uh, Android 13 logo right here so we're going to go into system and then I'm going to show you guys pretty much that it does show you the Android version that you're on now so you can actually see that let me just see if it shows it on here so it doesn't actually activate that right here anymore like it used to Remember when you would go up to the, the Android 12 right there? And let me see if I could get it. It's not actually activating, but it's really responsive. The uh, haptics feel extremely pleasing on here as well. Smaller icons, you know, things like that. So let me know what you guys think about the beta 4. Uh, I definitely like the overall updates that they did to iron this thing out. But, you know, it's almost complete now for official release in autumn or whatever. So those are my thoughts on the Beta 4 for the Pixel 4a. Let me know if you found any useful features in the comment section down below. And I'm going to get right back with you. I'll check you guys later. Peace.